Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Boat Box Breaks. We're a little bit late to the pre-release, the party for the Twilight of Republic Star Wars Unlimited. So I'm joined with Rosie today. Hi. She's going to be some hands opening some packs for me because she brings that pack cracking luck. So I went really big on Star Wars Unlimited for set one. I think I cracked about five boxes. Slightly smaller on set two, only three boxes. Um, I haven't had a chance to play so much, but we're on set three now. Ooh, so I had the chance to grab one of the pre-release boxes. So hopefully I'm picking up the rest of my... These are your life totals and your chips to go first and stuff. So hopefully I've got a couple of boxes arriving. So we'll open up those as in when they arrive. I think this is like a little mini deck box for your pre-release pack. Let's have a look. Ooh. One single guard. And That's obviously the set's promos. But that's quite cool. It's a little box and dividers. A box with um, one single pack in it. Let's check this guy back. We're going to put him in the background of the picture. So I have seen absolutely nothing of this set. True to form, I do not do research. Mm -hmm. I like to open things as and when they come around. So I get to have the kind of out of the pack, pack cracking fever of seeing things for the first time. I don't like to see or know what I'm going to be getting as the internet has completely ruined the fun of finding things out. So I try to avoid it. General Grievous. Okay, I, so there's two types two types and foils. So the, the cards are either regular with a frame or these which are called hyperspace. So the art bleeds all the way to the edges and you get regular foil and hyperspace and hyperspace foil. So these are the hyperspace non-foils. He's a yellow villain. On attack, you may give a droid plus one, plus zero, and sentinel for this phase. Uh, give a droid sentinel this phase. This is really good. And Ashoka. Ashoka, coordinate. Yeah, this looks really good. Coordinate, this unit gets plus two, plus zero. What does coordinate mean? We'll have to figure that out. One of the things I found with this set, we went so hard on set one. It was brilliant. I loved set one. Set two, they introduced, and I think the, the gameplay of the game was great. Set two, they introduced, you can open this one, mate. Okay, actually, let's have a look at the packs. So we've got two of this lady. We've got two of this lady. Rose has got two Yoda and two Stormtrooper from, a, I think that's Bad Batch. So we went really, we're going to do one of these each, yeah? So we loved set one. It, it played really, really well. When set two came out, I'm not sure if it added so much to the game as much as it just added too many more mechanics too quickly. Didn't, just as the meta was kind of establishing for, for regular players, it, there was just too many leaders, uh, too many new things. So there's going to be common leaders. We're going to get absolutely loads of common leaders and always these kind of common lands. By the end of opening two or three boxes, we'll have seen them a bajillion times. Exploit free. Droid a car. Mm, They've re reprinted resupply. Trade Federation. So these are the ones that I like. I only keep the hyperspace and the foils for myself. The rest, the rest kind of will end up getting multiples and multiples and multiples of. We will go back and review we, this. We get a foil or something. Oh, yeah, we get that. Commons, uncommons. Yeah, you can get some really exciting packs because you get the rares and you can have the, the foil slot, which can be rare. So this is Unnatural Life. Player unit that was defeated this phase from your discard pile. It costs, as I say, two less and then play ready at the start of regroup phase defeat. Oh, that's cool. That's like a reanimate. Instant speed, cheap reanimate. And our rare is pri private manufacturing. There you go. So these are the cards that I care about. The hyperspaces, the foils, and the regulars. The rest will all just form piles. All right, what'd you get, bud? I got this. Game. More, okay. Some of, some of the art looks incredible and some of it looks almost like AI generated. Overwhelm, each friendly unit gains overwhelm. This one. Yep, we don't really mind those. The commons come first. I will go back and read some of these commons when I... We're off video, but for now, we'll just open up the commons. I'm sure to see loads. Here we go. Uncommon, this is the second bit. So these are the, little, the slightly rarer ones. Okay, now, now we're into the good stuff. Wow. 
So we've got, is that a foil uncommon? Oh, wow, you've got a legendary pack. Okay, just go carefully open that you don't dent the cards right, bud. That's a cool foil uncommon. Cash Kirk Defender. Definitely. And this. That was the guy that I was talking about. This is the legendaries. So pulling legendaries is really, really important in this game. They they are actually pretty rare. You're not, you're not guaranteed to get more than three a box. So Rosie's pet crack and finger luck is great. Again, each unit, including this enemy units, gains tap action. Discard cards from an opponent's deck equal to half the units from remaining hit point right up. I think that could be abusable, but I just don't know how it works. Oh, someone's at the door. Be right back. That was the lady about interviewing for the TV or something. I told her to go away several times and she keeps coming back. So... Oh, no, not her again. Yeah, her again. Because she keeps bringing that laptop to show us. I know. I wish people would listen when you say not today, thank you. I don't think it's appropriate knocking on people's doors at 20 to 9 at night with children in bed. Right, pack two. I'm going to get cracking. Are you cracking yours off camera again? Who have we got? Count Dooku. So many lands. We're going to get so many lands. I gave a lot of the spares of these, the kind of duplicates we get to. Commons. Commons. Oh, no hyperspaces in those commons again. Dear, oh dear. What have we got here? Aussie Sobek. Oh, who's that? No idea, bud. <laughs> Heavy, our rare, Barras Offy. So this is kind of what I mean about the, the dwindling down. So the first set was just so Jedi's. It was Luke and, and Leia and Han and all that sort of stuff. Now we are in, already into Barrasif Offy. And we have a holdout blaster. That is very cool. Yeah. I know, and I think that's what a lot of players have found is that the game's kind of just- Another Mow. Mow, Darth Mow. The game quite quickly, they, they just printed too, too many cards too fast. And uh, it's not trying to be a ne ne negativity Debbie Downer on it. Oh, there we go. That's the card we want. We want one of those. We like having those. Uh, are we in uncommons? All right, hold on to that one. So again, forgive me if I'm not a lore buff, but you know, people know the, the main bits of Star Wars. So I have never heard of Asajj Ventress. She looks super cool though. Um, hey, look, R2. Wow, no way. A double legendary <laughs> of the same legendary. Rosie, that's super good luck. And I'm proud that you are a pack cracking Daddy. monster. So we we feel like we should probably be building this deck. Um, she was the lady that we just pulled a second ago. Yep. Satine Carries, they're both there, look. Okay, well, don't know if it's good, but we've got two. Uh, we're double Dooku's, that's why we don't worry about these, because we're going to get a million of them. What have we got? Vanquish, that's a reprint. Anything good? Five and First Liberator. Phase One Clone Trooper. Breaking in. We're into our uncommons. Kraken. Disruptive Burst, Bloodsport, and a rare is Jin Erso. And I'm pretty sure Jin Erso was in the last set. So is this, when an enemy has been defeated this phase, this unit gets plus one, plus zero, and gains Saboteur. Don't know. Ooh. That's pretty good. And Strategic Acumen, attached unit gains action, player unit from your hand, it costs one less. That's pretty good. Okay, oh, we've got Anakin Skywalker as a common... Common leader again. Not I'm sorry again. It's the first I had him. Okay, reckless. Warrior drone. Oop. Then the guards are half off. Oh, there we go. We've got a Knight of the Republic. I'll read those. I like those ones. All right, common. 
Come in. Come in. Okay, that's our uncommons. Self-destruct. Prisoner of War. And Admiral Trench. Brain Invaders. And that's our rare Brain Invaders. Wow. Wait a second. Each leader loses all abilities except for epic actions and can't gain abilities. Interesting. I just pulled that, hey. that card, but in normal form. It's a I'm common hyperspace it. foil. So if everyone can see this. So the hyperspace foils do look very, very cool. The white out print on the boxes just kind of makes the background like foiling look look incredible choose up to one republic unit and what up to one separatist unit give each chosen unit plus two plus two and saboteur this phase but that was really strange to that and then we go two of the exact really same cool. legendary yeah two of the exact same legendary let's hope it's a good legendary and playable i'm i've read it a couple of times and not oh, six it's hard to kill <laughs> each unit including enemy units gains tap Discard cards from an opponent's deck equal to half this unit's remaining HP. Oh, rounded though. up. Oh, you start with a 40 card deck, I believe. If I remember, well, my brain is working have properly. Another one here, so, so then we can use them at the exact oh, same time. Oh, it's definitely. To get a bigger... they're, they're definitely yeah. legendary. If this were limited and this was a pre release pull, this card would be bonkers. But I don't know how abusable it is. And we got two of them. So there you go, everyone. That was our pre-release kit opening. We'll be opening some more of this on the channel. We're going to be opening some, some boxes. Uh, we've got plenty more things coming up. So catch us in the next one.